Hey guys, Brenny here and welcome to a hardcore. Now, we are below our epic tree because I have something epic to show you and I didn't want to ruin it right at the start. I was doing a live stream today and I finished our market area, or at least the little top parts, which I am incredibly in love with. Uh, it took a lot of time to, uh, firstly, I went with design number five, which was this one over here, which, uh, was the same as design number three, but had the lowered backing. Uh, and then what I did also was got, uh, I went and did a similar design on the different design of the things because we were using these uh, markets as our layout. And then there's this design as well. And I am extremely happy with them. We have two over there that I wanted to do with you guys because I felt like we could put the finishing touches on it together. Now, what colors? So after orange, so I need light pink. So we just put this in here. I went and got 64 of each color of wool. Uh, I picked eight colors. I actually had them laid out here uh, because I didn't want like a blue. Uh, let's say, actually, I think pink would be the best way to represent it. There's three shades of pinkish, you know, there's the pink, there's the magenta, purple, and then there's pink. And I didn't want them beside each other. So I picked eight because there's 16 of them. And so I did half on half, you know, and then, uh, Obviously, I started magenta here, and then there's magenta starting there, and that's just so that they don't, like, mimic each other, like, symmetrically. They're crossed over, which still kind of mimics the other one, but, you know, doesn't matter too much. Alright, so let's go and do this, because I'm quite excited to have this done. Now, with this one here, this is a inner one. We make, there's two on this side, and there's one on this side. Now, we actually color the two. Uh, on this side, and then just do every, oh god, every second one from there. Oh, I actually don't have any, oh, this is going to be annoying to do now. Because I don't have any iron on me, and I don't think I have any relatively close to me. Like, uh, I've been using a lot of iron. I've went through a lot of shears getting all this, and, I, oh, I, I, was, I thought I was doing the wrong area. But yeah, I've also been doing farming of cows. Now, I have about 600 cows in a pen now, and I'm pretty sure that I'm ready to kill them, because when I get there, my frames start dropping outrageously bad, so I definitely think it is worth doing it. Another thing I've done with the uh, little markets is they all have two torches in them, and that's just to keep it lit up enough so that it looks pretty. Uh, hate how I have to do that for this one. That's like the only block that I can't easily place out of all the markets, I'm pretty sure, so I can't really complain. What, what, stalls or markets? I feel like mark, market stalls? I, I don't know, I'm just like confusing myself now. Anyway, so here's the pink one done. And then what we do is we jump into it and we put a torch on here and on here. Now what we'll do is we will run back to our house, I think. And I'll show you guys the cows, uh, which I will kill after we do some enchantments because throughout my live stream that I did uh, to do all these markets and design them all and I built all of them and then I went and got all the colored wool and all the sheep and all that um, throughout that live stream I actually had to go mining to get some lapis to make the blue wool and I actually stumbled into about 57 diamonds I think it was so we'll get out some diamonds here we'll get out this to make another pair of shears uh, I have a few stacks at the iron golem farm the iron golem farm's not amazing but it does help so I'm not gonna complain really but yeah, what I want to do is enchant as much as I can, because I'm level 43. So if I do some enchantments now, and then I kill the cows, it's just going to be amazing. Uh, and I also have a stack of food to use on the cows, so let's go and get some lapis, because I feel like we're going to run out of lapis, because we're going to be doing a fair bit of enchantments. Like, I'm level 43 now, so that will allow me to do, like, five, I think. And then, uh, oh god, my FPS is dropping, just because I'm nearish the cows. I'll show you guys. Uh, it doesn't even make correct Minecraft sounds anymore. That's how many they are. And as you can see, I expanded the farms. Oh, it's not looking too bad. You'll see the corners here, though. If I actually hold some wheat, I think that's when you'll see it go all bizarre looking. And as you can see, this is all the wheat here. And I do plan on using this before I slaughter them because I want the experience. All right, you ready? Oh, no. Oh, uh, it's... It's kind of there. You, like, honestly, it was a million times worse before. I think they're all starting to stack up in one corner just because Minecraft can't handle this many mobs. Alright, so let's go and do the last little uh, market. And then we will stand up on the tree, get a nice view. The view, uh, the favorite view so far of all my builds is, like, looking off from about here towards, like, my house. But having the inn in there as well, like that. 
I like that view a lot. Uh, coming up here and looking down. I'm just speaking about, like, it looks so good. It's just really a nice feeling to see the area start to fill in. Another thing I might do um, is, oh, I definitely plan on doing, I just don't know when I'll do it, is doing this pathway up to about here and doing it all on all the pathways. And that way it will allow us to just start putting some lamps down here. Oh, I forgot this sign was here. Oh, I don't actually have an axe anymore, but yeah, uh, that was number five. Oh, was that, wait, wait, no, oh, how was that number five? I don't know where that sign came. Was it, it was six? I, I can't remember what ones you guys picked, but honestly, the ones, the two that I selected as my two favorites were the only ones that were actually selected. No one else actually picked the other ones unless they were kind of doing it as a joke, right? Let's get out the blue wool and go finish off this because I, I'm just so excited. Oh, and now with these ones, the these are uh, at an even amount. God, I was like, uh, 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 I sounded like a robot. I sounded like I was cutting out. Anyway, yeah, these are an even amount of blocks, so they actually, um, they probably look better with the wall design, but honestly, I'm happy they look slightly different. Now, I got a lot of comments to make them all look different. I, I think I actually mentioned that as well in a previous episode or something. I feel like I did. Um, but I think if they're all different, it's just not gonna, it's gonna look out of place because I'm not gonna be able to make them all kind of themed together, but also look different, but also, you know, blend. It's, it's gonna be too confusing for me. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like this because uh, I'm very happy with it. The insides will be what uh, make it look different. Like some might have carpet, some might have wood in here, some might have chests, some might, some might look like a shop and some might look like storage, you know? There's like so many different things I can do and I'm just excited to be doing it. There we go guys, officially finished all the markets on the outsides and I am so happy with it. Now, I my stream crashed because my internet has been playing up a lot recently, you'll probably notice it from my videos, but I was like, alright, I'll log in and finish it not on the stream. And I actually realized I didn't even, because what I did is I went and built all the markets, put white wool on the top, and then I started adding the colors after. And I was adding the colors and I came to this one. This one wasn't even built. It was still just flat here. So I actually had to build that one, which made me feel a bit silly. All right, let's go and put this away here. We'll get a quick power nap in, and then we're going to make some things to enchant. Now, I recently broke an axe, so I would want an axe, a shovel, definitely an axe and a shovel, because I'm going to use a lot of shovels to flatten out the area where our loaded chunks are. Uh, some, a set of armor would be nice, just because I can. Uh, the other thing is, like, the armor always seems to have the same enchantment, so, like, if I, uh, if I get protection 2, every bit of armor will say the protection 2 thing, so having the tools is actually quite nice, and a sword is also very nice as well. I might do two swords. There we go, because if I get looting and fire aspect, that would actually be wonderful. Uh, we will do some pickaxes, three pickaxes. This is just me randomly doing things now. I feel like it's probably aggravating you guys. All right, and we will also have another shovel, another axe. I feel like I'd be happy with that. We have, we have a decent amount there. I really wish our inventory was laid out a bit nicer. Here, here what we'll do is we'll uh, plop some of it in here. So we'll throw that stuff out because we don't really need that on us right now. There we go. That's a lot nicer of an inventory layout. And there we go. Now we are going to go enchant all of this. Then I'm going to kill the cow. So I'll actually enchant it and then show you guys what I got because obviously you guys would like to see that. Um, I feel like I should lay this out a bit nicer. Might actually be worth me making three of all the tools because you'll see here that I actually, yeah. Hmm, I could make three of each tool, but no, I don't think I will. I think that's a good layout for now. Uh, we'll see, because like obviously I might not even have enough levels to do all these enchantments and then I'll have to do them later. Oh, what am I doing? Why am I going all the way over here to enchant? We'll go to our house and then um, after I do the enchantments, I'll breed the cows, I'll come back and then I'll do whatever enchantments I can do just from breeding the cows because I feel like I'll get a few there and then I'll kill the cows and we'll do more enchantments. I think this is going to be another one of those episodes where we just do a random bunch of little things. It's it's quite bizarre. Um, if there is like 600 cows, I think there'll be about a thousand when I kill them and I think from that I should be able to get like enough meat to um like last me a very very long time, you know, and I shouldn't have an issue. Alright, let's um 
Oh, I'm a bit, like, I realize this is all the lapis I have. I might actually run out of lapis. I don't want to have to go mining again. Okay, guys, so we didn't actually get to do as many as enchantments as I'd like, but like, I actually am up to unbreaking three on everything here. So I think I'm going to go with the axe and let's just hope I get efficiency. Yes, wonderful. All right, so that was pretty good. We got uh, Feather Fall. We only got one enchantment on each thing apart from that sword. Everything else has one, which is... Bizarre, is, that's not normal, is it? Let's go and make a chest, and we'll put uh, our enchanted stuff in this chest, as well as our lapis, because I like to have lapis near the uh, things I make. All right, there we go. Now we have another lot of inventory, but yeah, that was my last one, so I was able to do five enchantments there. Now we have to go breed all the cows, which will also get us quite a high level. I don't know if I should kill the cows right after breeding them, or if I should do the... I think I should do the enchantments after I breed them, and then... Um, kill them and then I'd be able I think I should be able to get more enchantment oh that's where my bed is I was wondering where it was I knew I placed it down somewhere all right um yeah see I also have a lot of bone meal still so I can continue breeding them but I do definitely don't want to go over 1000 cows so it's time to breed them I can legitimately I'll show you guys uh let's go and get out all of this because I will use all of this uh but I won't get any more after this I can use more than two stacks on them I'm pretty sure like it it goes so fast so easily Another thing I need to do, uh, to do these pathways, by the way, guys, is I just need to grind the nether. I need to, uh, whatever it's called, uh, lap, no, it's not lapis, it's, uh, the crap you use to make comparators, quartz, quartz ore? I don't actually know what it's called, see, look how easy that went away, and look, it's still just breezing away, it's, it's outrageous, there's way too many, oh my god, that looks like a, oh, you know what was funny, if I break one block of dirt here, oh, it's not gonna go good at all, if an enderman did that, I would be hunting for cows for like hours. I think that launched like a hundred blocks in each direction because uh, when I expanded this, what I did is I dug around here like this, dug down, and then I expanded it that way. But because my shovel was so quick, it just like, um, it's really hard to explain. The shovel was so quick. Oh wow, that's so bizarre. Oh, it's finally doing that glitch that I was speaking about where they all kind of, it just looks like a bunch of heads. But yeah, the shovel was so quick that it actually let some of them bounce out and I, I killed them and then um, I expanded it even more and even more bounced out. There's actually a one deep hole in here somewhere, but obviously I'm not going to be able to find that very easily with all the cows in there, so I will have to slaughter them. I'm happy I got uh, on the sword. I got fire aspect and sharpness, so... Sharpness, looting, I don't know if I'll be able to add that together, but I really would like that because this is going to be like a full chest worth of beef, beef, so it's going to be quite hot, oh my god, my frames are so low now, I think it's time for me to kill them. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to jump in there, get the experience, let's see what we get, we'll get to 30 and then after I'll go do an enchantment, oh, holy, oh my god. Alright, we only got like 31. You don't get too much experience from breeding them. I'm really happy I added this um, little mechanism here. But yeah, I was down to 19 frames there. Wow, that is just outrageous. I hope that sound doesn't sound too annoying in the recording. Like, it's an annoying sound, but it wasn't horrible for me. Alright, let's go up here and do one more enchantment. We'll see what we can do. And then I'm going to kill them all and it is going to be glorious. Sharpness 3. Unbreaking. So I assume this will have unbreaking 2 as well. Uh, helmet. Unbreaking, damn it, they're all getting unbreaking. Um, I'll go shovel this time. Unbreaking efficiency, yes! Alright, I'm happy to take that, you know, it's like, it's a minor win. Alright guys, I, I hope you're ready for this, because I'm going to go see how many cows there are, and then I'm going to kill them all, and you guys are going to be mind blown. Let's, uh, let's just do a quick look-see how many there are, though, because I want to let you guys... Alright, leave a guess how many you think are there. Alright, pause. Blah, blah, blah. Guessing time. And here we go. There is 640-ish, I'd say. Wow, that's outrageous. Because if I, like, look this way, yeah, it's just an outrageous amount. And I, I think it was stupid of me to have all the other farms near it. But time to slay the cows. Okay, guys. So here's the spoils of our kills. Uh, that's an outrageous amount of meat. <laughs> and... It's going to keep us satisfied for a while. I'm pretty, like, I, I really am happy that I'm not going to have to go and breed animals again for a while. And that's actually why I did this. Because with cows, like, you breed one cow with another cow, and you get one cow. So 
for example, if you bring 50 wheat to the... No, no we'll go... We'll go. There's a thousand cows. It's taken you a while to get to a thousand. If you breed all of them, you'll get 500 baby cows. And then if you breed... Once they grow up, if you breed that 1,500, you'll get 750 extra cows. And it just ramps up at such an outrageous rate that doing like one at a time every now and then is just so annoying and boring and crappy but what we're gonna actually do now is make an auto smelter just a basic one uh i think yeah we should be able to make it pretty easily let's go and get we need four chests we need two hoppers and a furnace and then that's all we're gonna do we're just gonna do a very simple design why do i not have any furnaces oh i feel like i took them to do so i feel like i was doing something designy and i needed furnaces for some reason I'm not sure. There we go. We have furnace now. All right. Uh, we need coal now. I feel all right. We do have a block of a block of coal because we actually the blocks are actually going to get used now because we have an outrageous amount of freaking cow meat to cook. So I don't know whether I I, I figured I'd just leave it out here. It is going to get pulled back apart, so there's no real r rush to do it. Um, can't wait to actually have these farms in like farm looking areas. It's going to be outrageous. All right. Um, so let's do that there. Then we'll face that to that. We will put that there. We will... I kind of want to have it like that. But I'm just... I think you have to feed it from the top to get food into it. Or else it won't work. So we'll just do it from the top. I just didn't really want to because it won't look as good. See? It doesn't look as good. But who cares? It's only temporary really going to be there. Alright, let's get this going. This is going to be awesome. So excited. So chuck that in there, chuck them in there, and they're going to keep funneling into there, wonderful. And then we do that, and oh god, we're going to have so much cooked beef. Should have done like a dual cooking design actually. Um, oh, I should have, why didn't I do that? Let's do that actually, I'm actually quite eager to, I've never really done anything like that. So what we can do is firstly we've got to take out all the beef again, which is... I'm sorry guys, I apologize. I'm annoying, but I, I just feel like being creative right now. All right, there we go. And I really wish I had an axe on me. Actually, did I put an axe in here? I, d yeah, I don't really want to use that at all because I like to look after my diamonds here. We'll make it a wooden one. Uh, not a wooden one, an iron one because we have unlimited iron rolling in now, which is quite nice to have. Alright, so there we go. Do we have any more left in there? We do, but they should all go into our inventory. Yes, wonderful. Do we have... Yep, alright, we have plenty of space. Okay, so... Chest, chest. Hopper, hopper. We need two... Another furnace, which I don't have on... <laughs> How often do you see YouTubers just do that to get uh, cobblestone like right in their main area to bust down the floor? So I just wanted to be that guy, you know? The one that everyone's like, oh god, have you seen Brenny? He's a bit of a dickhead. Alright, there we go. And we need to make a few more chests. We need... I think that should be all the chests. Because two chests on Oh, no, no, no. We need another chest because we need one for a hopper. This should do. This should make us enough chests. We need two hoppers. So, and we have the iron on us. See that, guys? Didn't even have to waste two seconds to go back into the house. I just busted a hole in my floor. There we go, and then we go behind here, and we'll pillar up with our newly acquired dirt blocks. Also something I did on purpose. And there we go, we have the Mega Cooker 3000 right here. It's going to cook double the rate. It's not actually going to be amazing or anything if you if you thought it would be. Uh, Alright, half that, put one of these blocks in here because I'm picky when things are halved. There we go, put that away, take that out. Alright, here we go guys. Let's put that in there, and that in there. And then we do that, and it should withdraw double the rate. Wonderful. And there we go, guys. Ah, oh, this is so cool. And then we should get double the return. So these should cook at the exact same time, see? And then when the next one... They're going to basically come out in groups of two. I could actually do more if I wanted as well. I could, like, bring this off and have two connected to this. And I've always wanted to do something like that. Like, everyone does the minecart thing, but if you really have a lot of hoppers, you can make these outrageous cookers that just are... They seem awesome from my ideas in my head, because I could expand it out to the side and then have it all go to one chest from one chest, you know? 
and for some reason I think that's cool. It's probably really not. Because like what you do is you have one chest at the top and then that connects to a chest and you have two chests on that and then you have two chests coming off those two chests and it just keeps expanding until you get enough chests that you're happy with and then you connect them all to a furnace each and then all of them funnel back down into chests once again that lead to the one chest. Oh wow, already got to I actually might bring this 10 with us. Now, I think the next thing I want to do is firstly fill in that hole, and then I want to go to the nether and collect some uh, nether quartz, because I want to use it to work on a bit of the paths over there. Okay guys, so we just got back from our nether adventure. I got a few stacks of nether quartz, which is pretty good, because... It should make us enough of the inside or whatever it- what is it- what is it actually called? Yeah, it's Ansight. I, I wasn't sure what one it was. I can't actually remember how to make it, so that sucks. Oh, wonderful! Our cows grew up, so we can kill them now because... I'm actually gonna only keep four of each animal for now, just because I don't think I need anything from them for now, and... It would just allow me easier to manage them. Uh, they still cause lag. It's odd, the baby ones seem to cause less lag. Maybe it's because they have a different AI that works differently. But, oh god, we're gonna have so much more food now. Oh my god, I actually didn't think about that. We're gonna have, like, a fair bit more food, which is pretty good. I was actually meant to also empty out my inventory of, like, netherrack. Yeah, because, look, now my inventory's nearly full because I got random stuff from the nether. It's alright, we can, we can just kill these and then, um, pop back in here. Alright, so, there is... how many left? Four left, wonderful. Alright, and then we go and put the, uh, beef up here. And I'm still getting lag for some reason, which is weird. I Oh, by the way, I got the food from here because I was obviously running low on food. I did have uh, mudden. Is it what you get from sheep? Yeah, I had some of that. Uh, can you really not go in the one hole that I really just want to fill in? Oh, and I also filled, filled in that hole over there that I made uh, sneakily for you guys. All right, there we go. He's out. Yes. All right, wonderful. So our farms are normal-ish now. There we go. All right, so... I want to, oh, oh, I'm only level 32 because I actually, um, I was about 37 and then I, I forgot, I don't have a, a clue for the life of me where I put it, but I had an efficiency 5, fortune 3 somewhere else and it was nearly broken. So I added two pickaxes I had together, but I didn't actually add the efficiency 5 one, I believe. I, there was an efficiency 4 one I added. I'm, I've just confused myself a lot and I just don't know where it went. Wow. Don't know what to do with all this leather. Is there much more you can do with leather? I suppose I could, uh, if there was like a, uh, I suppose I'll make some kind of like silk shop and in there I could have, or, or a tanning place or whatever they're called and have that, uh, with all the stuff in it. Alright, let's, uh, dump our inventory here and we, one thing I, oh, gotta turn game sounds back up. One thing I did want to see is, um, if I already had some nether quartz because I feel like I did. And now I'm going to feel a bit silly for going to the nether and going and getting extra because, yeah. Alright, let's see. So, nether stuff. No. And, no, wonderful. So, that was kind, kind of had a point. Unless I've got it stored somewhere else. What should we name the chicken, by the way, guys? I feel like, uh, I was when I was live streaming, someone suggested naming it. And I feel like that is a me an amazing idea. So, we're going to do it. Alright. Uh, let's see. How do you make this? Is it like this? Diorite, and then I think diorite with gravel or something turns to ansite. If I just wasted all that to make diorite, I'm gonna be so pissed. Polished diorite, we don't want that. Uh, we want, I feel like I have to mix it with more cobblestone, so let's go get some more cobblestone. If I made this wrong, I'm gonna be really mad with myself because I feel like I got the correct. It's alright, we have 64 more. No? Hmm. Oh, is it like, oh, it might be two. There we go! Wonderful! Ah, oh, thank god. I, was, I, I felt like I remembered, so I, I went from my memory, and luckily it went well with me. <laughs> Alright, let's get some cobblestone out. So, f oh, I don't, do I have four Is it raining? I think it's raining, guys. Holy crap. I don't think I've actually been recording in here when it, in my little office space when it's raining, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, uh, some gravel would be nice, because we don't want to run out of it, and stone is the- Oh no, I'm out of stone. Um, oh, I have an insight here. Oh, I have a chest for insight. Alright, so we have four gravel, four stone, four insight. Andesite? Insight? I don't know how to say it, I'm sorry if I'm butchering it, guys. 
All right, let's do this and set out our inventory a tad nicer because we are going to be using it quite a lot uh, in the future minutes. All right, so we need smooth stone, which we can go get from the mine, and then we can do uh, the pathways up to where I wanted to because I'm really eager about that. Did I? I think I forgot to mention. You guys know how I made that mob spawner in one of the episodes? I, oh yeah, this is the, where I got the diamonds, by the way. All these mines that aren't lit up are what I just mined through quickly to get diamonds, and like the last three had like bank worth of diamonds. Hello, zombie friend. But the only issue is now that there's a bunch of dark caves around, there's going to be a lot of mobs around. Hey, buddies. Oh, I'm so strong. Oh, crap. Oh, God, I need to do something about this. I might actually just block them all off. Like this. And then at least I won't have an issue with it. Like so. Is that our last? Yeah, yeah, this... All right, this was a great idea. You know, like if it's... Who cares if mobs are spawning in here now? Because they're not actually going to be able to come kill me like they could have before. I'm going to need more cobblestone, though. So let's put that away. Uh, oh, I have gold here. And there we go. And now we need three stacks of smooth stone. Or oh, four, actually. There we go. Four stacks of smooth stone. And now I am ready to do the path, I believe. Okay, guys. So it is the moment of truth. We need to go and make some slabs. That was probably way, way too many. But I have done a bit of each path. And that is just to make it feel like it's starting to take shape. And I'm very, very excited to be doing this. Uh, we'll go and put some slabs on each one like that. Because I don't ever want to have to jump up the stairs, even though like horses and stuff will glide through here so greatly. If you didn't know, they're actually going to be lamps there, as well as there'll probably be lamps somewhere on this side just to make it... Ooh! I missed one. Uh, so I replaced all that with ansight, I believe. Oh wow! Can't believe I even noticed that. Like, I wasn't looking for it or anything. I feel like this one has an ugly slant, but... Eh, you know, it's, it's meant to look random. You guys should see how I do the past. Basically, uh, you'll also see that one block is favoured more than the other. It's not too bad, actually. But yeah, um, basically, I just run down the uh, pathway, placing blocks randomly. And it, it's uh, pretty decent. Like, I'll start off with one block and go down randomly. Then the next one, and I'll go down randomly. And then the next one. And then the next one. And then there should be a few holes left. And that's when I go through and kind of pick, alright, I want that one there and that one there. And... Honestly, it's not too bad. Let's get rid of this, though, and begin our journey. Um, I think this is the last proper line. Yeah, it is. So, uh, obviously, I've left some, and that's just because these paths uh, could change. The builds... Like, this one here was actually a bit hard. I had it going lower down, and then I was like, oh, crap, the barber's there, so I technically need to be able to make a nice uh, pathway to the barber. And I didn't want to do anything like a, a staircase up or anything because it, it's a barber. It's nothing amazing. Maybe in the higher class area, I could have that. But the higher class area may actually also get a bit of pathway because I feel like it's something they would repair. I don't, or maybe they could have gems along the side or something. I don't really know. Um, But oh God, I'm so excited to see what this looks like from the top of that tree. Like it's just going to look gorgeous. Look at it. I, I definitely think I need to get some bone meal out, though, and uh, get some of the grass growing again, because you can definitely tell that I have butchered a lot of grass trying to do light terraforming. For example, I did some light terraforming here just because this this came forward and went like an S shape in the way, and I'm like, I'm not dealing with that. That's, that's annoying as. Uh, but yeah, I did it a bit further than I actually had planned, and that's just because I want it to look good, you know? I want to I be up in that tree and be like, wow, this is... This is really starting to take shape, and it's going to be one of my biggest, bestest builds ever, and I'm going to be so excited about it and all that. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is break all these, and then we will be up in that tree having a pretty look. Okay, guys, so I just broke the last bit of block, uh, at least up to where I had done the pass, and I am outrageously excited for this. Uh, it just... It feels like it's just looking good visually. Uh, I feel like it looks good, and I'm hoping you feel the same, because when I was live streaming, like I said, like, everyone seems really into it, and I'm really, really excited for that. One thing I actually want to do, though, is uh, put a block, just a log here, and have the torch on the log. That way it will look a little bit more part of it. Uh, I feel like the cobblestone really brings it down. Another thing I might start doing is bringing an ender pearl. Or maybe even just put a chest, a sneaky chest in one of these with ender pearls in it. And that way I don't have the cobblestone going up the tree. Because I just, I want this to start looking finished, you know. At least, not at least finished, uh, some areas of it starting to look finished. Because 
I'm falling in love with my own build. And I'm very happy about that, you know? It's a, it's a good feeling to know that I really like my own build, because if you don't like your own build, it probably means you're not trying your hardest to build, because if you don't like something, you should keep trying and trying until you're happy with it. Like, for example, I'll admit, I'm not as happy with this tree area anymore now that I've gotten a bit better at building, but oh my god. The pathways are starting to look amazing. Now, one place I actually wanted to stand was over here. Yeah, watch. I'll get rid of the cobblestone. And then we'll go do a pillar over in that corner. Because I feel like that corner is going to be the corner where... Firstly, you can't see the dodginess of the... Um, oh, the sun's going down too. That's going to look gorgeous. Oh, I forgot to put... Did I put torches in this? I think I did. The ones that we made together. I think it was... Yeah, I think it was these two that we made together. Alright, wonderful. Here we go. I'm so freaking excited. Let's go about... Here and pillar up onto a pillar. That was a horrible pillar, but I just want to get it just before the sun goes fully down because I want to capture all the radiantness it has. Oh, I love it, guys. Look at that. It's taking shape. The pathways look so like. Oh, God, that pathway there is going to look really, really nice. This is probably, I'd say, my favorite view, guys. I actually think this is the image I'm going to use for the thumbnail. That being said, thank you all very, very much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like and a comment. A HCBB, which is Hardcore Brenny Beast. Uh, leave a comment with that if you have anything you'd like me to build. And if you just have a general comment, uh, feel free to leave it as well. Like, I do read them all. It's just uh, sometimes when I'm a bit out of ideas for building, I go and search HCBB in previous videos and get some amazing suggestions. Also, if you're new, feel free to subscribe to my channel and... I will hopefully mumble less next time. Bye, guys!